I still remember that day in 1993. I was 13 years old and my sister took me to the shopping mall to buy me NBA Jam for the Sega Genesis. What happened after that was 15 straight hours of gaming bliss with four of my best friends. Needless to say, NBA Jam is one of my favorite games of all time because I have some of the best gaming memories with it. All these years later, there have been some new ports released and they've made their way to iOS devices. My name is Tony from the Classic League Gaming and Electronic Podcast, and today I'm reviewing NBA Jam HD for the iPad. Now, I primarily play all of my iOS games on the iPad, so I've been waiting for an NBA Jam HD iPad-specific version, and I'm excited to be reviewing this one today, so let's jump right in. As far as core gameplay, it has not changed much, even since 1993, and that's not a bad thing. This game is still fun, and I still have a hard time putting it down. Now you can perform shake and bake moves, use turbo, perform huge slams, shove other players down, and so on. All the things that make NBA Jam a blast to play. There are three made modes in this version. There's Play Now, which allows you to jump right into a game. Classic Campaign, where you pick a team and try to conquer all the other teams for the championship. And Multiplayer Mode, which is new to the iPad version, where you play up to four other iOS devices over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, and there's no online multiplayer. Now the multiplayer works flawlessly. I had an opportunity to play a family member on their iPad over Easter vacation. It was a blast. We played a couple games on the same team and then a couple games head to head. So that's definitely a great addition for the HD version of NBA Jam. Now there is a challenge list on the main menu which shows you what you have to do to unlock certain modes and players. Or if you're lazy and rich, you can go to the Jam store and just buy all the unlocks with money. But I prefer earning them. Now there are two control schemes. One is the same found in the iPhone version. There's a virtual stick on the bottom left with a turbo button, shoot, and pass buttons on the bottom right. And of course defense specific buttons when you don't have the ball. The other uh, control scheme is a new gesture, gesture based ones where the virtual thumbstick appears anywhere that you touch and on the bottom right there are gestures to make for the moves. And I didn't like this version because of some occasional failed response. Overall the traditional controls were great and they are responsive. The only thing I didn't like is that you had to shake your iPad for a spin or a special move, mainly because the iPad is larger than the iPhone and shaking it on the fly is kind of inconvenient but that's a small quip. Graphically, this game is over the top as always with player design and faces, and that's what I love about it. It definitely looks sharp on the iPad and you won't be disappointed. Now if you have an iPad and care about graphics like me, you'll want to pick this one up for the optimization. Everything from the players to the crowds in full HD and it looks fantastic. In conclusion, I highly recommend NBA Jam if you have an iPad. It's not perfect, but it's easily the best basketball game for iPad and iOS devices and brings the NBA Jam magic to the tablet screen. It has all the unlockables and crazy modes you can handle, and it will keep you busy for some time. You can pick it up in the App Store today.